Hey guys, I'm Jason Six here, back at you with Pokemon Silver. So, let's see, uh, what's, what the heck's going on here? Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, last time we were, um, in the Team Rocket base. Yeah, last time we were in the Team Rocket base, where we were, um, Trying to stop the radio signal, so let's get the show rolling and um, an annihilate these. Um, um, well, what would you call these guys? Um, well, let's pay attention to what's on the screen. We can't have a brand like you on the loose. That's harm with the Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. <laughs> I don't know what level they are, so they may... If they're the same level as the rest of these executives I've seen so far... Then, um... Hey, don't be so... Uh, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. What you had accomplished? Where's your sense of honor? As interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Yeah. Yeah, executive. Oh man, they're only level 23. If the other one's like the same level, then shoot, I could have just taken both of them at the same time. Actually, if they were... Well, shoot. Let me just end this quickly. Seriously, if, like, um... If they were serious about beating me, they would've just... They would've just had, like... Slash. Okay, we don't need that. Um, no. Yeah, we don't need that. We only need one more move in the entire game. After the eighth badge, we're gonna go. We're gonna get another TM move to learn to flesh out our boost set, so we can take on the rest of the. So we can finish the rest of the game a lot quicker without having to too much too much struggling. We got Murkrow here. Let's see. You really are strong. It's too bad. If you join Team Rock, you can become an executive. This island is done for, but that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. Doesn't matter what happens to us, Hyda. We have much bigger plans. You've come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. Foo -foo 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 -foo. I'm guessing that's their way of chuckling or something. I did it, we defeated all the rockets here. I'm concerned about the young guy battling the process. So I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is turn off that odd radio signal. Here's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it, we have no choice. We have to make all the electrodes faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. No fault of Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. Let's split the job. Oh no, don't worry, I don't feel too guilty about this because I know I'm doing it for the greater good, so. I mean. I'm just making them faint. I'm not, I, I'm not downright killing them, so. So we got, we're gonna go ahead and use our full heal. I don't know, let me think about this. We're beating up electrodes so the so the magic comp will be sat will not be forced to evolve. I still don't see what the big deal about that is. 
what's the big deal about making forcing them to evolve early? I I really just I really don't see what the problem really is. But whatever, I don't know. I guess if we're doing this to save Pokemon from getting hurt, then I'm like I'm like whatever, you know. What? I can't just run away from the battle? Oh, I have to make them faint. I thought if you just run away, they just disappear or something. Yeah, it's not... You know, now that, I'm th now that I'm thinking about it, my memory is going back to the TV show. You remember those two guys? Those two, um, Team Rocket members that kept showing up in the TV show? Jesse and James? Yeah, I, I guess from what I remember about those, the TV show, um, I remember, I remember Jesse and James. They just, um, I, I remember them kind of like, I don't know, doing, like, I, I don't, they just, um, they just um, kind of a, kind of a few, um. Uh, I don't really know what to say about them because my memory's not too clear. I, I just remember that they were, they kept screwing up their um, stealing of Pokemon. That's all I remember about that. So let's see, Lance. That, let's see what Lance has to say. Um, that odd signal has finally stopped. The link should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. Let's see, HL06. That's Whirlpool. Just so you can use that out of battle with the badge from Mahogany Gym. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? If you give up that easily, you will have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Oh no, we're definitely becoming the champions. As long as my computer doesn't break down again, <laughs> we're, we're definitely uh, we're definitely on our way to become the champions. So, as long as the computer and my camera don't break, dude, then we're on our way to becoming the champions. Yeah. See if if either one. See if. Let's see. Um. Uh, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter which one we pick. Whirlpool. Okay, we just we just replaced the first, but it really doesn't matter. So we finally got that out the way. There was a guy blocking his gym if he tried to go here first before you went to the rocket hideout. So it's one of those types of scenarios, like we, like we faced off and like we um, had to deal with this for the second gym, a guy blocking the gym, you had to go someplace first before you went to the gym. So let's talk to this guy. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. He's said to be good at freezing po opponents with ice type moves. That means you should know him with your burning ambition. Now he's now this is a little puzzle here. It's not too difficult. I know price is secret. 
so you know it's a secret. And um, let's see, we got Border Douglas. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never knew what the shoulder. But, I mean, this is kind of like. I was gonna say, I don't know why Shelter keeps sticking out his tongue, like... I mean, does it always do that even while it's battling? Does it always just keep sticking out his tongue? Like... Yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and use Spider on this guy. Yeah, let's see, um... Yeah, Confusion is pretty bad for... for Alligator because... You see, ba Oh, I was gonna say that. Basically, confusion. The damage confusion. If you hit your stuff with confusion, the amount of damage you do is based off how good your attack stat is during the battle. So, yeah, we did. We're doing a pretty good job. We're gonna pretty much just annihilate Price. Shelter again. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just use buy on these guys. You see, if this was like Generation One, fights were actually not effect, not too effective against the shelters. I think I'm not really sure. I don't remember exactly what type they are. I think I think I think shelters like. I forgot what type shelter actually is, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, I forgot what type shelter actually is. So okay, let's see. Let's check what type it is. Okay, we have to catch the Pokemon to see what type it is. So I don't exactly remember. Let's see. What price? What is Price's secret? The secret behind Price's power. He meditates under a waterfall daily to strengthen his mind and body. Actually, I kind of do something similar to that, actually, so... I don't really meditate under a waterfall. Sometimes I like, like to take cold showers just to um, clear my mind up. So I do, I do something kind of similar to that. Let's see, let's talk to Bryce. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. So I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I prize the winter trainer shall demonstrate my power. Let's see, I think... Let's see, um... Let's see, this guy has been with Pokemon all his life. But he only has level 27 seal. It, it, I mean, it's not even involved in the Dugong yet, so... I just know this guy's just all talk, you know? I mean, he's been with Pokemon for 50 years. How long have I been doing this? Like, a few months? I've been only training Pokemon for a few months, and already I'm just kicking, I'm just kicking his ass right now. Wow, we got two flinches. And we're just, we're just beating a price, like... Look at this, look at that. We're just annihilating price. Okay, let's see, I just know price is so full of BS, or he's holding back on me, because... You're training Pokemon for 50 years, you should have level 100 Pokemon by now. 
And you're telling me you only have your your strongest Pokemon is only level 30? I mean, I remember the last cha the last trainer champion has only been training Pokemon for at least three like three to four years, I think. The champion, the ex champion of that we're gonna face off at the end of this game has only been training for about around three around three to four years I think and even he's got level 70 or 80 Pokemon so I mean price must have been like this I don't know what the heck price has been doing well at least price is a pretty good amount of money $3100 Special stats of Pokemon unless your Pokemon is Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. Gift TM16. Icy Wind. Yeah. That's pretty much all we're gonna do for this gym. Now we're gonna face off against the sixth gym leader. But. We're probably going to save that for the next episode, though. First, I'm just going to go in and fly off to, um... Olivine City. See, let's see, um... Olivine City, Pokemon Gym Leader Jasmine, the steel-clad defense girl. Now let's talk to, we're, we're, we're meeting up with this, with our um, advice guy again. He only discovered steel time. He doesn't know much about it. Thank goodness I know about it though. Basically steel type is weak against fire and water type. I, 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 yeah, I think, that, I think that's what, yeah, I think that's what steel type's weak against. Um, I think it's water type and, um, I think it's also weak against ground type. Ground type, water type, and fire type. So next episode we're gonna face off against Jasmine. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time.